more guys running around. That piece of wood is still f hanging there on that edge. Way up here, bothering me slightly, but not enough to make me get someone to move it, because where else, where would I move it anyways? There's no point in moving that. Uh, the, the brewer, you need to be brewing really badly. Look at all these. This one's already withered. You need to be doing this. Stupid brewer, where are you, brewer? You're dumping an item? I think not. Bartenders don't do anything but tend their bars. Whoops. Good. Now you are bartending. <sighs> Anything else going on in this crazy dwarf eat dwarf world? Bill, trap. Not table. Trap. Cage. We have 73. Because it's going to take forever to move all of our stones out of that one place. Let's go. Mo let's come over here. Let's uh, end the cage. Uh, no, the cage. No, we don't want cages. Jeez. I thought we were building tables and stuff. I forgot that we already uh, undesignated that, and by we, I mean I. Lots more stones to remove. I've actually cleared our entire area, like this, this, this entire big area. Just dug the entire layer. That was a fun mega project. And then I was going to flood it and make it a giant uh, second overworld with tons of trees that I can cut down. But then I got tired of playing the game because it's a boring game. Not at all ever worth playing or let's play. Take my word for it. Except don't really because I always lie. Oh boy, an elven caravan. Hooray. Uh, one good thing about elves, they don't get attacked by uh, various wildlife. So we don't have to worry about them being attacked by various wildlife. Uh, we do have to worry about, though, getting them in here before the goblins get here, and not letting the goblins get in here when the goblins get here. So, let's... Let's do this. Let's, let's start out finally letting this stuff in, and building trap... Building trap cage! I'm gonna start building tons of cage traps, because technically we have enough for right now. And we're gonna unrepeat those cage traps way up there. And after all this is done, we're also, I mean, we're also going to be moving all these cages here. It's not enough just to have cage traps after all. This should give us a moderate amount of defense, and we can actually probably keep that open. Though we want to build a bridge there. And this will be our first entrance. We will actually have eight entrances. So we're going to have to do this seven more times once we're done with this one time. Build all of these freaking cages way up here, and soon enough, it will say you ran out of mechan me uh, mechanisms. Gee, what are your mechanists doing all day? Yep, there you go. Lazy mechanists trying to uh, not try. This is also good because they're getting cluttered up. We don't want that to happen. Uh, let's also set up. Let's get rid of this. No, you know what? Let's get the guys keep on doing the stone. Um, the cages will come of their own volatilition. We'll worry about that part later. Now we have to get these elves in. And we don't have actually anything to trade with them. So we're probably not going to trade with them. Hmm. That makes sense, right? No, we are going to probably want to, uh, make some lavish meals. Hooray, and what's on the, uh, meal plan-ish thing? This! You can actually make stuff with this guy! Congratulations, I'm actually letting you do stuff. And, uh, uh that's good enough, Mr. Chef. Where are you, chef? Chef, 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 chef. You currently have no job but to cook. And that should be good. Every time you cook something, we're going to send it to the trade depot without anyone being able to eat it or... Oh, those are all withered. Eat it or, instead of eat it, put it into a barrel. We don't want those in barrels. Jeez, we don't need barrels. All we need 
are some good old-fashioned meals. And we'll hand-deliver them to the trade depot and just give it to the dwarves without... Well, I never noticed that piece of water there, right near the uh, wagon area. There is no access to a uh, wagon over there. Wait, why does it say there's no access to a wagon over there either? What's going on, game? What are you doing to me? There is totally access to a wagon right over here. Game, you lie! Okay, there's actually very little uh, elven uh, trading going on here. They brought one guy, but he has some nice stuff that we want, including some water coverings. We're running low on those. This place actually doesn't really have very many water coverings, naturally. So we have to uh, bring in our, all of our water coverings. And uh, dwarves don't stock on wa water coverings, so we can't get it from them. We All we can get are stuff like plump helmets and uh, other underground vegetation. We can't get any uh, water coverings. Actually, water coverings is not an object at all. I am messing with you guys. I got you, right? I got you? I'm so good at getting people. What are you doing? You are mad. You are a mad peacock. You are going to die. Stupid peacock. Peacock is not intelligent. Peacock. But we do have some trading going on. So, let's look at this guy. Does he have anything in his place? Good. Let's bring goods. Roast. What? Okay. We're going to need to do one special thing here. We are going to need to forbid that and then unforbid it. And then, and only then, can we search roast and send it here. Hooray! Is that a 1 or a 10? We will see in a second if that's a 1 or a 10. Hopefully it's a 10. Or an 11. Or it's a 19. Perfect. That is 779 times 19, I think. Which is a lot of monies. A lot of dwarf bucks, as they call it. Or eurists. Or, as nobody calls it... Um... Dang, I can't think of anything funny. Um... Zorkmids? That's a terrible reference. Why would you do that? comment lurker you are so not funny I'm unsubscribing to you ha ah, job item misplaced I don't even know what he's referring to oh shoot I know what he's referring to is he referring to this oh by the way forbid forbid it's a masterpiece that's good let's bring that uh, roast not reast roast huh what forbid Forbid. Goods. I know it's wrong here. Oh, never mind. I thought I just didn't pause things. But all is good. All is well in uh, something, something, something. Oh, look at all these trade goods. So many trade goods. We can bring in so many random vegetation things. So many vegetables. I love elven vegetables like the prickleberries. That's a vegetable, prickleberries. Uh, all berries are vegetables, not fruits. I lied. Don't take my word for anything. Not even for a nickel. Even a shiny one. Oh, these guys are building the wrong ones first. You fools! You're supposed to start down, go up. Probably because uh, dwarves always work on a LIFO system. Piece of information. According to Dwarf Fortress Wiki, which is never lying to us, uh, dwarves always build in a LIFO fashion. Last in first out. Meaning if I decide that I want to build this wall and then I decide I want to build this wall and then I decide I want to build this wall they're gonna build that wall and then that wall and then that wall simply because this one was the last one I designated they do then that order this was the uh, next one I designated them to do and then you get the picture so I stop explaining nothing and uh, we move on. Uh, did you make any more lavish uh, foodamajigs? Yes, you did. So let's forbid that, and then let's go over here and search for more roast. And it didn't work, so let's forbid it again. And eventually, oh, actually, let's pause, and then go in here, and then forbid it, so that whoever's trying to eat this delicious f morsel will not eat that delicious morsel, and not try decide to try to eat it again. 
And that's not a spell roast. And let's bring these over to there, too. I don't know why the... Oh, Prickleberry Wine, of course, got more uh, things because it was cooked with Prickleberry Wine. And uh, now we should be able to trade. So let's bring our trader over there. What's our trader doing right now? Our trader is uh, currently dumping an item. But pretty soon, the, the trader will not be dumping the item so long as... Uh, we tell him that he can no longer dump items. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we should be able to work on further things in this later part of the game. And, uh, there we go. Actually, it's early part of the game. I'm just trying to talk very fast, so I'm not making any sense. Um, let's see. Is anyone going to the depot? Mr. Uh, representative, no job. Are you going to go take a break, or go eat, or go sleep? As you always do whenever someone comes wanting to trade stuff, Especially when I'm, I don't have any sand and someone's in a strange mood and they need the sand and you decide that you're going to go to sleep and I need a trader and uh, I guess I don't feel like taking a uh, bad deal on the sand because I'm foolish. I think I can actually make it when I actually can't and uh, then I actually lose out on that guy who dies. Yep, you're drinking. Oh my god, I hate you so much, representative. I'm going to kill you with a knife. I shouldn't threaten. That's not nice. I need a promise. I promise I will kill you. Enough of that nonsensicalness. Onto this nonsensicalness. Let's see how our uh, sleeping quarters is done. Hooray! This looks odd. This looks very odd. I'm sure when I get uh, doors, though, it'll be much more aesthetically pleasing. And let's not do that mistake again, where I try to mine, even though it'll be easier because I don't have to de-designate some things. And hey, look at this! What is this little weird thing that looks different than the rest? It's almost as if I forgot something. Oh well. Now it's almost as if I didn't. And hey, look at this. Another thing that I mistakenly didn't do. Oh well, better that didn't do than did do and I shouldn't have. As my grandmother always told me. And that's why I never work hard to do anything. Because it's always better to not try than to fail. Always good to know. I'm rambling, rambling. But there's very little in the game going on. There is the trading that I should be doing. Uh, let's put all the stuff up there. It's actually not very much money at all. Which is why we need a better cook. But we can pick up all this random garbage that's very cheap that we can uh, maybe build stuff with in the future. And a panda! Oh my god! It's a panda! <laughs> I'm so happy now. This is a good this is a good um, fortress now. We actually have access to pandas. You guys don't know how awesome pandas are. I lied. I don't know if pandas are awesome at all, but that's a panda, so I'm happy. I want to buy that panda, but I have a feeling that it's a waste, so let's not do that yet. But we are going to have a panda farm in the future. I promise you. All my other promises I always follow through with, right? So it's all good. Uh, we are going to want to buy a cage, a cage... I think I'm having a good time. We need cages. Cage, 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 barrel, drink. Oh, man. We're, we're already not doing so well. Let's look at this thing. Okay, forbid, forbid. Prickleberry wine. That's good. And we want to add some more uh, roast. Nope, I messed up. Let's go into the area again. Forbid, forbid. Forbid. 